I once read Harlem by Langston Hughes and it gave me lots to think about as a kid. Like, really, what happens? Does a dream really dry up? How does a dream that sag look? Needless to say, I had dreams I didn't want to dry up. And it is my desire that the dreams that you and I both have will take off and become a reality. Below are 10 priorities to put wings to the dreams that you have. Picture it. Often we spend so much of our energy focusing on the things that we don't want to do. I don't want this job. I don't want this life. How about utilizing your energy focusing on what you do want instead? Positivity. You see, all things begin with a willing mind. Change your perspective and how you see things and watch how it opens the flow of your productivity. Planning. Preparation enhances your chances for success. If the master teacher tells us to count up the cost, then proper preparation does, in fact, prevent poor performance. Persistence. Talent is what you are born with, but skills are what you spend persistent hours perfecting. Many people are talented but lack in skill. Spend consistent time perfecting your craft and watch how your gifts make room for you. Promoting. Learn how to articulate and sell yourself without being overbearing or cocky. You see, in order for people to see the greatness that you provide, you must put yourself in a position to be seen. Matthew, the tax collector, once wrote, No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. A lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. What value will you bring your generation if no one knows who you are and what you can offer? Playtime. Find time to enjoy the fruit of your labors along the way. In the fitness world, we have a term that is called cheat meals, although I prefer saying reward meals because I'm rewarding myself of the good practice and not cheating on my meal plan. You see, these meals allow you an opportunity to avoid potential pitfalls and burnout. In the same manner, we should enjoy the fruits of our labor to help avoid burnout. Patience. You see, it takes time for your dreams to come to pass. Therefore, remain patient and committed to endurance. Because the worst thing than waiting is wishing you had. Praise. Remember there is power in positivity, so always offer praise along the way that the dream is already being fulfilled. We should also be sure to praise others and be sure to not overly criticize those who we help and those who help us. Pride. If nobody else will, believe in yourself. You have been uniquely gifted with what you need in order to do what you've been called to accomplish. Be proud of who you are and remember, no one can do what you do like you do it. Prayer. As a person of faith, I believe God honors our dependence upon Him. Therefore, spend time soaking your thoughts and dreams in prayer. And spending time with Him, our dreams are literally affected by His. And in essence, His desires become our dreams. So the question is this, what are your dreams? How will these priorities provide a lift to them? And how can I support you? As always, the conversation doesn't end here. Go over to robertlwagner.com or any social media platform, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, for more resources and to join the continued dialogue. Lastly, if this has been informational and or inspirational, comment below and share with someone today. Have a great day.